Hey guys, Charmaine here. Today's tutorial is um, kind of like a purple jeweled look and I have just a little bit of a lighter color right through the center of the eye and I think that this just adds a lot of depth and um, it also kind of gives the eye a glossy finish which I, sh I think is really pretty and it's kind of hard to do with kind of like a cream eyeshadow or something because um, it ends up, you know, just running and smearing really quickly so I think this is a great way to kind of get that look without um, losing your eyeshadow. Um, I think it would be a good nighttime look. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how to get it, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I already primed, it, primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I went ahead and filled in my brows as well. And um, the first product I'm going to use is a Hello Kitty, um, I think it's called like a Charmy, C-H-A-R-M-M-Y, and it's in Sweet Lavender. And this is just going to go over the lid. Bring it up through the crease just a little bit as well. And I'm just going to pull this down and around. And I'm just going to smudge that in a little bit with my finger. Okay, so I'm going to take Beautiful Iris, which is a really pretty lavender eyeshadow. And this is by MAC. And this is going to go right in the center of my eye right where my iris is, right above that. And you want this to be fairly heavy because you want it to be lighter than the outside um, of the darker color. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take a dark kind of shimmery purple and I'm using Royalty, uh, or actually I'm sorry, this is Purple Haze by TG. This is going to go through the inside corner. And I just dusted a little bit of translucent powder on my face to catch any fallout. So this is going right through the inside corner and up into the crease. And then also on the outside corner as well. So I just kind of always trace the outline of the shape that I want through the outside edge and then fill in from the inside. And that's why I prefer more of like a flat eyeshadow brush. Because it's getting, it's good for getting the type of edge that you want. I'm just dragging that in just a little bit. That's just going to help blend the dark purple with the light purple. And then I'm going to take that same dark color and pull this along the lower lash line and still just leaving that gap where your iris is. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and that light purple color again. And I'm just going to pop this right above that dark purple and this is just going to help soften and blend that line out a little bit.
Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that lighter purple, the beautiful Iris by MAC. And I'm just going to add another coat of that and just kind of blend that into what we already have. And then this is also going to go in the center bottom of your eye as well. So really you just want to make sure that everything is nice and blended. No harsh lines between the two. I'm going to take a small angled eyeliner brush and a little bit of um, fluid line um, gel eyeliner in black track, which is just a solid black. And I'm going to pull this just a little bit on the lash line. So not on the water line. And I'm just going to take this through the top lash line. And then I'm going to take Shadow Lady, and Shadow Lady is a dark purple. It is this one here, and it's a matte color. And I'm just going to pop that on over top of the black. And then I'm just going to take a bigger smudger brush and just put this through the outside corner as well. Just to deepen it up a little bit more. I'm going to take kind of a natural skin colored um, pencil and this is the L'Oreal Paris Double X and eye illuminator and it is in it has black quartz but I'm not sure this side's kind of purple and then this side has like the wider side so I'm just going to put this on my waterline and if you have a little bit of transfer from your top eyeliner you can take a q-tip and just kind of clean some of that off first And this will just take out some of the redness of your waterline. Mine has a tendency to be a little red, so. And then I'm just going to go in with a couple coats of mascara, and I'm using the, um, I don't know who makes it. The Voluminous, um, this is the False Million Lashes. Voluminous False Lashes. Just a couple heavy coats of this. And then I'm just going to put some of this through the outside corner. Okay, and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mocha blush. And it's kind of um, like a cool pink. And then I'm just going to contour a little bit with Harmony. It's just like a light brown that's good um, for contouring for lighter skin colors. And then I'm just going to take um, Benefit High Beam, which is a highlight, and pop this right on my cheekbones. It just gives a really pretty glow when the light hits it. And if you want, you can actually put a little bit of that on your cupid's bow. And then on the two little lines that you have right there. And just kind of pat that in.
that'll just help to make your lips look a little bit fuller as well. I'm going to go through with just a clear gloss. <clears throat> And I'm just using the opposite end. I have this um, Super Stay 24 Hour, and I was just using the clear side. Just because I wanted it to be my lips, but really glossy. Okay, so that is going to be it for the finished look. I love having um, the little bit of highlight right through the center of your eye, because I think that it gives it kind of like a really glossy appearance. Um, without having to use like a really glossy eyeshadow that's going to smear and smudge and come off in a you know, couple of minutes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you have any questions or anything, leave those in the comment uh, bar below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.